The Castle of Illusion was Miserable's twisted playground of trickery and peril. Nothing there was as it seemed. Hello there and welcome to an exclusive look at the remake of Castle of Illusion featuring Mickey Mouse here. It's a rather delightful platformer. Oh, yes, I just used the word delightful. Into the castle entryway strode the mouse with the heart of a great lion, though his knees felt more like those of a frightened kitten. But honestly, it looks pretty special. So, yep, this is your sort of hub full of doors. You have to get certain amounts of gems to unlock each door. You know the deal when it comes to a platformer. We're going to run you through the first level here of the game. Hmm, I wonder what's behind this door. Mickey crossed the threshold and emerged once again into the forest. But it was changed somehow. This wasn't the pastoral wood he remembered. The gameplay will consist of a few puzzles, a secret area in the sky, and will also obviously take on a boss. What's a platformer without a boss? Don't forget, if you like what you see, please do like and subscribe, as we'll have plenty more on Castle of Illusion in the future. The signpost was created by Miserable, so of course, it had a mischievous streak. Hmm. Sure wish that signpost would make up its mind. <laughs> Suddenly, Mickey was in another part of the wood. Were these gigantic trees, or had Mickey been shrunk? Mickey found himself back in the clearing and back to his original size. Mickey knew he was closer to Miserable now. The very air around him tingled with mischief and danger. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. 
Suddenly, Mickey found himself catapulted into the clouds. After a short flight, Mickey was back in the haunted forest, no worse for wear. With the frights and sprites of the forest behind him, Mickey faced the next part of his quest with, ah, the grumpy old oak tree. Like all of Mr. Hill's illusions, he was no friend to Mickey. Rainbow Gem was finally his. Now it was time for our hero to move on. <laughs> 